I mean, I'm sitting here drinking this coffee and it's hard for me not to overreact to how bad yesterday was. And you've seen the worst of the worst. But when I look at this remaining schedule with Seattle on the board, 49ers on the board, New Orleans, Atlanta twice, and New England, you could almost wrap up the season after that. That was a must win. Well, you know, I, I, I don't know if week one, I've, I've, I've always loathed to call week one of any season in any sport. Even football, must win. Maybe in college football when you lose it in terms of losing a BCS berth or anything. But because, you know, even last year after they won the opener, they had a chance to beat the Giants, the Bucks did, and they had a chance to beat the Cowboys. They really did. So, and from year to year when you look at schedules, you just never know who's going to be good and who's going to be bad. I'm going to take a wild guess, though. I think the Saints, Falcons, 49ers, and Seahawks are going to be good. So we just named six games. Um, I wasn't over. I, the Bucks weren't my overwhelming choice to go 11 and five. Right. Uh, but no, it's it's also it's how they lost. The Jets were a completely weaponless team. They were begging to be defeated. Geno Smith was saying, "I've never played an NFL NFL game before. Please beat me." Even threw an interception. And right when he gave it to them, the hand, Freeman uh, handed it, it right back. Right back on a forced throw. You watch it, he was triple covered. I looked at Vincent Jackson on the replay. He didn't even expect the ball to come to him, and a receiver, that's what they do. They always think they're open. So well, you know, Shiano alluded to that, too. Yeah. He said, you know, we had a chance to take control of that game. Indeed, I think if they'd, if they'd been two touchdowns up, that game's over. I'm feeling like Shiano's been getting, a, he's only been here one year before this, obviously, but I feel like he's been getting a pass all offseason, and people are talking about, oh, he lessened the reins this year, but like, are you loosening the I'm reins? Not convinced this is that, what we get? This I'm, is not, I'm not convinced he's lessened, loosened the reins, yes. one. Two, even last year, it's so funny up in New York yesterday, after the game, now most of the New York riders and a lot of the guys from Jersey have covered Shiano when he was at Rutgers, and some of them were leaving the press box going, ah, that's our Greggy. Yeah. He's, he's, he's lights out, except for those three hours on Saturday and Sunday. And as much as you want to whitewash and think, Davis cost them the game. He did. Good kid, gonna make a Pro Bowl one day. But that was dumb. But for me, like, I don't even, there were so many other things. Yeah, but no, yeah, but sometimes you can crystallize a game. Sure. All those other things, <laughs> all right? You can take all those other things. The Jets are going to have the ball at the 50-yard line with a handful of seconds left. And they either, they either one up Tom Dempsey, Jason Elam, and all these, these you know, kick a 67-yard field goal, or they throw a Hail Mary from 60 yards away. It's real simple.